Hello and welcome to another episode of The Blend on Anime Casuals. Have you ever wanted to step through the screen and enter the world of your favorite games? Or maybe you have watched any of these anime and wish for them to become real. Let's put on our Amu spheres and full dive into this episode about the world of VR. Ever since the 80s brought us Tron, and we watched Flynn get beamed into his computer, people around the world have been wanting to follow him. This was only enhanced when Nintendo brought out the first VR system, heavy quotes on that, called the Virtual Boy which was a portable 3D gaming device that could go on your head. But it really wasn't a VR device like we know them today. Unfortunately, it took researchers and developers till 2010 to make the first commercial prototype called the Oculus Rift. And then another four years until it was ready for the public. So how long will it really take us to have a device that will literally bring us into the digital world? That entirely depends on a few points I'm going to talk about and how far a couple of pieces of technology have come today. So let's break it down. So as not to go on a rant, because I'm not lucky, let's just talk about a few issues that are plaguing the full dive technology issue today. First is, well, the thing in your head, your brain. Researchers have gone very far to mapping it out but to get a full map, you need to go over a hundred billion neurons that are inside your brain right now. And how those send and receive info from your nervous system, and also how those interact with the rest of your body. Which ones activate when you move your arm, and which ones activate when you sneeze. And all of these things researchers need to have down. If you watched my episode about prosthetics, you would know that we're already pretty far on the sending and receiving from nerves. Of course, there's one more point, which I know a lot of you gamers out there would understand, is running a game with little to no lag. Because if you're sending your brain into a digital environment, you need to be able to experience it with little to no stutter, or else you might get really sick, or there might be something that goes wrong. Another issue is a major lack of funding out there for making the specific technology that will allow your brain to enter the digital space without your body being involved. Because right now VR today does require your body in some form or fashion. So right now many companies are putting their money into VR instead of this full dive technology. And VR is still really expensive to get into. You need a high-end computer and you need a $500 to $1,000 device to run it from your expensive computer. Now that you know about the issues that might plague Full Dive, what do we need to have it become reality? And how close are we? Well, first we need VR to become cheaper and more successful so that everyone can take part of it. In fact, if you've ever watched the movie Ready Player One or read the books, that's actually a really great example of what could happen. A socially distant genius could invent the next biggest VR set and hand it out to everyone for next to nothing and revolutionize everything. Welcome to the Neuralink product demo. I'm really excited to show you what we've got. I think it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> this is that little device. Uh, it is, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. Holy <laughs> it's happening. This is Elon Musk, and he is putting his money into a project called the Neuralink, a, a company that is developing technology for your brain. And the specific technology called the Neuralink is a device that links via Bluetooth to your phone, and it, the phone is connected to a device surgically installed in your head. This device is meant to break the barrier between the organic brain and our devices we use on a constant basis. It means to expand the future by giving the human brain access to everything we have built and more. 
Neuralink could have the paralyzed move or interact better with the world around them. It could help others invent new technologies or connect our communities even more. Although, to be honest, this is me just being really a big optimist because I really want this technology to succeed. And if you would like to know more about how it works, I would direct you to this video by Virtual Dreamers that describes the Neuralink a bit better than I have. I would personally say, very iffy about it, but I would personally say that we still have about 20 to 30 years before anything like the atmosphere or the nerve gear or any full dive technology would be out or even prototype for human use. Although I can be optimistic about one thing, there will probably be an animal using it before you. Thank you everybody for watching another episode of The Blend here on Anime Casuals. I really look forward to doing all this technology talk and relating it back to anime. So if you have other people who are interested in or have any suggestions for me, please share or you know comment down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you for another video. And remember, keep it casual.